Sons on the bench today. That's good news for Liverpool. And Mark Walters, who's had a bit of hamstring trouble. Do you foresee a situation where that natural kind of width might come into play for Liverpool? I, I definitely. And I, and I think I agree with Phil Thompson. I don't think John Barnes is brought up here for the right today. I think he's here to take part. I think if Mark Walters, they were convinced that his hamstring was, was totally clear, Mark. I think Conditions. Right on cue. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Just as the teams come out. There's been a lot of snow in the surrounding areas. But St James's Park, of course, is a city centre club. And there's plenty of ways of beating the weather. They're used to having it hard in these parts. And there's Barry Benison with his youngster, Max, on the left of the two mascots there. So it's Kevin Keegan's strategy against that of Graham Souness. On the pitch, it's Andy Cole and Robbie Fowler as England look to the future. A little bit there from Liverpool, super stuff, knocking it about, popping it off, pass and move, pass and move. So they've got to win it back now as well, Newcastle. Sellers. Lee. Cole's in the centre. Will it reach him? It does! It does indeed! It's taken him less than five minutes to beat Bruce Grubble up. And Newcastle United have the early edge. What a start, Mark. What a start. I have to say, in the initial build-up, I thought that Andy Cole was offside. But from then on, it's down to can Lee produce a cross of enough quality for Cole? And his answer was yes. This is all about the cross. Because the finish, well, you never had much doubt that Cole was going to finish it. The doubt in my mind was whether Lee could put the ball in the area for Cole to complete the job. And Lee does it wonderfully well. And Cole nicks it over a despairing goose. Last league outing prior to that, they beat Wimbledon here 4-0. Peter Beardsley got a hat-trick in that one. He's on the ball now. Cole wants it from Sellers. It's in. It's two. And Liverpool are rocked again. Well, Peter Beardsley ripped him apart, Martin. He dropped off the back four. No one went with him. He turned. And look at this. This is Beardsley at his most dangerous. Threads about his sellers. Who's got acres? Now the question is, does he shoot? Which he's entitled to do, in my opinion. Or the same choices. Do I just roll it across goal and give Andy Cole his second goal? And they slips it across. And it's the slightest of touches from Andy Cole. And the result is inevitable. Newcastle, two up. And here we are. Still in November, Andy Cole, 20 goals. <laughs> Nick, the uh, to Sellers, Beardsley. Yeah, yeah. Most marvellous opening half an hour here for Newcastle United. He's rounded it all off, but it's been a splendid team performance. 3-0. What a magnificent ball from Robert Lee. That's what started it off. You watch this. First time, he knows where Seller it is. And then the rest, well, the rest simple when you're dealing with Andy Cole. Three goals, three of them, carbon copies of each other, tap in from in around the six-yard area. But that man got himself in there. And that's why he's sitting with a hat trick at the moment. But he will know he has to thank some wonderful build-up play on all of the goals. Well, there's been all the talk of homesickness and even the papers today more speculation about interest from uh, other clubs should Newcastle ever consider selling him how can they ever do that at the moment Beardsley oh, and they're caught out again great stop by Grobola from Sellers Newcastle United. Great play again. Involving Clark and Robert Lee, who lashed it goalwards. I think that's something he, he wants to add to his game, Robert Lee. It's probably the, the most disappointing statistic he has this season is his goal tally. And that may be the reason why Kevin's moved him in, infield a bit. 
Leaving it forward, Cole chasing. For the last kick. And the end. <laughs> His heart was fluttering a little bit. Actually aimed for Cole, it flicked off Beardsley, and now Cole can be involved with Sellers. He's on the same wavelength yet again. Beardsley waiting on the edge of the area. Andy Cole, is it more glory he's looking for? It is. And Beardsley stood uncomplainingly on the edge of the area. Got to help from Watson. Benison. Lee. For Cole, he's in. He's got Beardsley in the centre and uh, again didn't use him. It would have been a tap in for Peter Beardsley that time. Oh, Neil Ruddock. Bracewell. The old Evertonian. We had some rare old battles involving Peter Beardsley. Here's Lee Clark. And Scott Sellers can try one. He might have been looking for a little bit more, you know, such a professional given in the second half. Still be a bit for it. Yeah, he'll be a bit disappointed though that uh, his team haven't performed as well. Well, here they are in full cry with Clark. Now, where will he go from here? He'll go for goal. And the shot wasn't on target even before the deflection. And Fowler, will he get there? He does. And Mike Hooper, who will do all he can to preserve a shutout here. Time, you could do it with 1 to 11, couldn't you? Here is number 11 for Newcastle. Scott Sellers, and it's Beardsley! The crowd held its breath. Oh, and Fennison has left that short. Jamie Redknapp has a great chance here. Hooper saves splendidly. Beardsley, there are four up for Newcastle here. If they play it right, could be more joy. For the two army. Beardsley. Nicely done by Robbie Elliott. Beardsley. Spreading it to Lee. Cole finding a gap down the channel. Beardsley's there for the cutback. Is he going to see him this time? He's not. They're all there for the cutback.